What's up guys, welcome back, or it's your first time to my channel, welcome. So today we are gonna be going through my top recommendations for the Sephora VIB VIB Rouge sale. If you're unaware, Sephora does have a sale for its VIB and VIB Rouge members in the fall time as well as now. And the sale is 15% off the whole entire store. So it's a really great opportunity to not only pick up your basics, like the foundation that you always wear, your concealer, your perfume, your skincare, just those products that you always, always use and you know you actually are gonna need backups of. But it's also a great time to get a little bit of a discount on products that are a little bit pricier or products that you've just had your eye on for a really long time. So I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. If you do, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and please, please send me a list like I'm not kidding I want to know exactly what you plan on picking up from the sale it is just so much fun to see what other people are going to be picking up so I'd really love to get all of your list down below and last but not least I'm sure you are so sick of hearing youtubers say this but hit that bell button if you'd like to be notified every single time I upload a video new thing that YouTube is doing where uh, they don't send out notifications to all of your subscribers they only send it out to a portion of your subscribers so if you want to make sure that you're gonna get notified whenever I upload then hit that bell down below. So without further ado, let's get right into first, it. So first things first, let's start off with some eyeshadow palettes. So first one that I have over here is the new Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. So this is basically a mini version of the original Naked Heat. It is so cute and tiny and really slim. It literally fits in the palm of my hand. I could put this in my pocket. It also has a hard case packaging, which is really great if you ever travel with your makeup because you don't have to worry about it, you know, breaking all over your bag. That has happened to me once or twice. It's the worst. So the shades in here really are awesome. You've got six eyeshadows. Five out of the six are matte, and then you have one shade that has a little bit of a sheen to them. I really, really love that most of these shades in here are matte because that just makes it really versatile. You could use them on the lower lash line, you could use them in the crease, you could use them all over the lid. So this palette just really gives you a lot of options to do a lot of things with it. Every single color in here really stands out on its own. Sometimes with smaller palettes, you will have like three eyeshadows that are almost too similar to one another that they don't really you know, need to be in there. And it just wastes that like precious space inside of the palette. Whereas with this one, I really feel like every single shade has a use and I love this shade over here which is the satin shade that they included it's called inhale and it's just like the most perfect glowy vanilla highlighter shade it's really great to use all over the lid if you want to give your lid a little bit of a glow on the inner corner brow bone today I'm actually even using it on the tops of my cheekbones as my highlighter I think this is just a great little palette and I would obviously recommend it so next moving on to my second palette recommendation this is the Anastasia soft glam palette now this is another palette that I have personally been using so much recently. Like I have not been able to stop using it. So even though this is a pretty neutral palette, I feel like I don't really have anything that has this type of combination of shadows in my collection, which says a lot because neutral palettes have been trending for a really long time and you feel like you've seen it all. But I feel like Anastasia and Norvina always do a really great job of taking even a basic idea for a palette and still going a little bit out of the box with it. This palette is great because you have your really great like builder block shades is what I like to call them, like those matte basic shades that everybody needs to create an eye look. This shade right over here is probably one of my favorite browns. It's Cypress Umber and it's like the most beautiful, neutral, deep, dark, matte, rich brown. You have a matte black, you have great just crease shades. These three shades up here, Rose Pink, Sultry, and Bronze are stunning metallic dimensional yummy <laughs> lid shades you put these on your lid and it literally looks like you put maybe six eyeshadows on because they're so dimensional the only problem that i have with these and you may have seen it in the last video that i did i used bronze all over my lid they tend to fall down on your cheeks if you don't use a base that's sticky enough so i would recommend doing that if you do do that though you won't have a problem but i just wanted to put that out there i actually have three skincare products that i wanted to recommend i know skincare could be a little bit personal but i still think these are products that a lot of people can benefit from so that's why i wanted to mention them today first things first i really want to talk about the Caudalie beauty elixir now this is probably one of my all-time favorite it's not really like a setting spray but i guess you could call it just like a facial mist i use this 
like three times a day. <laughs> I use this when I wake up in the morning to just like refresh my face because the scent is so relaxing and spa-like that it just wakes you up and obviously the mist is just really refreshing. I spray this like 37 times on my face before I do my makeup, after I do my makeup, throughout the day to refresh my makeup. I feel like this is just like the elevated version of MAC Fix Plus for me. It's quite a hydrating product, so it does give my skin a nice like hydrated feeling when I when I spray it on my face and it also gives it a little bit of a glow as well which is super nice and if you ever feel like you've overdone your makeup and you look a little bit too powdery this is a great product to use to sort of just calm everything down and the spray on this thing is so nice it's super fine and it just like gently grazes the face it doesn't give you a shower which is always great when it comes to a facial mist because we all know those facial mists that just you know water hose it right to the eye it's not fun. Another product that I want to recommend, I feel like I, I've recommended this in all of my Sephora VIB VIB Rouge sale videos. Um, this one is the Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. It is probably one of the only skincare products that I really feel like has made a huge difference in the way that my skin looks. This is a really great product if you have very dry skin, if you have any texture on your skin. It does a great job of sort of getting rid of that texture and smoothing things out. And I noticed such a big difference when I stopped using this product. So I love this. I know it's expensive, but again, I think that the uh, VIB sale is a great chance to pick this up if you are interested in it. And if you didn't know, I freaking love this stuff. This is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask Seaweed Radiance Facial. That's a lot of words, but I really just love this mask very simply because I feel like it just hydrates the skin, gives my skin a really nice glow when I feel like my skin is feeling a little bit dull. Like when I've worn makeup multiple days in a row, my skin is just hating me for it. I love putting this on and it really just sort of boost my skin up it boosts the hydration boosts the radiance and it makes my skin feel alive again it's really all i got to say about it i really like this and i thought it was a nice um product that a lot of people could benefit from it's not just geared towards dry or oily skin i think it's it's good it's good for everybody so that's why i want to recommend today i really like this a lot so I have two hair products. So the first one is the Way Memory Mist. Now I think I spoke about this in my last Things That I'm Loving video, but this is my new favorite hair product. I have very frizzy, curly hair. And I know you're gonna ask to see it on camera, but I'm not gonna come on camera with my hair looking the way it does when it dries naturally because it is not pretty. My hair used to be like really, really, really like ringlet, ringlet curly. There's actually a video that I did years ago on my channel where you could actually see my hair. And I look back on that video, I'm like, holy shit, my hair was so curly. But since bleaching my hair, I was platinum blonde at one point, my curls have just deflated. And I've been trying to get them back slowly but surely. My hair is no longer being bleached, so hopefully that will happen soon. I'm really trying to take care of it, but that's all to say that my hair just isn't smooth. It's not perfect. I always have to style it no matter what. Memory Mist is basically a product that prolongs your style, and that is something that I need in my life because if I am not able to make a style last for multiple days, then I will have to put heat on it over and over and over again, which is something that I want to avoid because I do want to, you know, make my hair healthy again. So Memory Mist actually allows me to go like a few days without, without having to retouch my hair, which is actually a freaking miracle. It's also a heat protectant. So what I like to do is I spray this in my dry hair section by section. I will spray each and every piece and then I will go in with either my straightener or my curling iron. So memory mist from way A++. So the next product I want to recommend are these IGK Swipe Up No Frizz Smoothing Hair Wipes. Now it's funny because when I first got this product, I wasn't really into it. I was sort of like meh about the whole thing. I don't know if you guys know the trick, but if you want to get rid of frizz on a dime and really quickly you're in a pinch, you could actually use like a dryer sheet and just run it along your hair and it does the trick. So I sort of thought that that was a play on like the dryer sheet trick, but these are very different than that dryer sheet trick. So I was wrong. So basically this little package comes with 16 little smoothing hair wipes. So my hair is looking pretty smooth right now, but I do still want to demonstrate it for you guys just so you could see. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. You want to completely unroll it obviously first of all the smell like heaven <laughs> it smells like pure coconut like you're on a tropical vacation it's so delicious so then you want to take the paper and you basically just want to rub it against your hair and it will completely get rid 
of all of your flyaways. It will smooth them down. And because the paper is slightly oily, it's not like wet or anything, but it does have like an oily film to it. It will also add so much beautiful shine to your hair. So I also like to go like this just to get the product through my ends because it adds so much pretty shine and it just smooths everything out. And this has been like my secret weapon lately. And you can totally reuse these. You just gotta fold them back up. <laughs> and put them back in its little package and you could reuse them probably about like two, three times. If you feel like your hair gets frizzy throughout the day, these are so great to just like throw in your bag to touch it up. I love it. Next up, I'm about to talk about some lashes. And that's shocking because I literally never wear lashes. These lashes from Velour, I love. They are so up my alley and I feel like there are a lot of people who feel the way I feel about lashes, I'm gonna really enjoy these. So this is the new Effortless collection from Velour. The one thing that I really don't like about lashes is the preparation. Trimming them, getting them ready to be put on my eyes, it's such a pain in the ass. Who actually likes doing that? Probably nobody. These lashes are basically ready to go from out of the box. They are no trim lashes, which means that they are not stupidly long. They're all so like wispy and fluffy looking as well. They honestly look like mink lashes, but they're not. They are silk lashes. The band is also really nice and flexible, so they're pretty comfortable and they don't like pop off in the middle of the day or the middle of the night. I want to recommend these because obviously lashes could be a little bit pricey. What's nice about these is that if you do take care of them, they will definitely last you quite a long time. So. Yeah, those are the Velour Effortless Collection. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Another product that I want to recommend that I actually will probably pick up during the sale because I only have a little sample size version of it is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance Bronze. I'm also wearing this on my face today underneath my foundation. So it's basically a tinted primer and it also has a little bit of a glow. But what I love about this product is the fact that it's not overly intense. There are some products like this that will just make you look orange or like three shades too dark. This product instead will really just give your skin a beautiful like bronzy glow without it like completely changing the color of your skin. Now that spring is here, sort of, <laughs> and summer is right around the corner, I thought that this would be a great product to uh, add into your collection if you wanna enhance or add a little bit of a tan to your skin. So next I have a highlighter that I want to recommend to you guys and this is the Lancome Custom Strobing Drop in Champagne Glow. There are two other shades in here. So there are shades that will fit every single skin tone, but this is the one that fits my skin tone perfectly. So you may think that these are basically just like a copy of the Cover FX uh, Custom Enhancer Drops, whatever they're called, but they actually are quite different. They are very metallic highlighters. Like they are intense. <laughs> this, however, is way more tame compared to the Cover FX Drops. They're not metallic at all. In fact, they're really, really nice and natural looking. and this product just gives the most beautiful, natural looking, dewy, radiant glow to the skin. And because they are in a little dropper form, you can apply them in a few different ways. You could obviously apply them on their own or you can mix it in with your foundation. And because they're not super metallic, they won't make you look like a Tin Man if you do decide to put it all over your face. And if you are fair, this color is doesn't make it look like you have a stripe of color on the top of your cheekbones and it just gives you that like perfect, perfect glow. I love these, would recommend. Obviously, I keep saying that. Obviously, I would recommend. This is a freaking recommendations video. <laughs> <laughs> so, so next I have some lip products that I think would be really great to pick up during the sale. The first one is a little set from Nude Sticks. This is the Nude Sticks Nude Artist Box Love Me Nudes Natural Edition and it contains six lip and cheek pencils. So this entire set basically has a variety of different nude shades in here. This is actually an unopened set. I have one that is already used and, and because this is unopened, I am going to be doing a little giveaway of this. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you uh, wanna see how you can win this little set. Anyway, this is just such a great set if you like a good nude lip and who doesn't, who doesn't like a nude lip? You also have a variety of finishes in here. You have the gel finish, which is more of like a sheer wash of color. And then you also have the intense matte, the magnetic matte, and also just like the normal gel color, which is just like a really nice sort of satin lip pencil is what I like to call it. And if you wanted to get a little taste for the Nude Sticks lip products, I talk about them all the time. I love them, but I do still feel like they're underrated. So if you, you know, want to try them out, I think this is a great little introduction 
introduction to the lip products from the brand. So the next product I want to recommend is actually what I'm wearing on my lips currently. This is the Fresh Sugar Honey Tinted Lip Treatment. This is probably my favorite tinted lip balm ever. It is just like the most perfect nude color. This color will literally look good on everybody. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's also quite neutral, so just so it doesn't lean like too peach or too pink. So I feel like this will just go with so many different skin tones. And it's also just like so easy to wear and to throw on, and it just makes your lips feel good and also look good. All right guys, we are almost done. I have two more products and they're both blush products. The first ones are the Clinique Cheek Pops. Now, I've only very recently discovered these. I know that they've been out for a while. First of all, the packaging is adorable. They're so nice and compact. And I also just love the little flower design. These two shades are the ones that I have. I've got uh, Peach Pop, which is this one right over here. It's a little bit more peachy. And then Pink Pop, pretty self-explanatory. It's just like a pink blush. I like the way that they apply. They just give a really nice flush without being too intense. And uh, these two colors are just really gorgeous and I think so great for the springtime. Like, don't they just scream spring to you? This new little palette from NARS, and this is the Wanted One Cheek Palette. I, I forget which year it was, maybe it was last year, but when they came out with the unfiltered blush palettes, those were like, my most used blush palettes. You've got some really unique shades in here as well. Like these two shades are not shades that you often see in blush palettes. So I think it's really cool that they include them. You have like this lilac-y shade um, and this beautiful, 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 like bright coral. They also have a matte pink, more of a shimmery pink, a matte, more neutral nude, and then more of like a shimmery um, shade that could be used more so as a highlighter or a cheek topper. So guys, that actually is it for all of my recommendations for the Sephora VIB. VIB Rouge Sale. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are not subscribed already and do not forget to hit that bell button. If you want to know how to win the little lipstick palette, I will put all the details down below. It's going to be really straightforward, super easy. Just want to do a quick little surprise giveaway for those of you who made it to the middle of the video. So good luck to anybody who decides to enter and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.